Thank you. Coach, how do you see the uh, uh, quarterback situation in preseason shaking out? Well, uh, we're actually very excited about the quarterback position in Georgia Tech. I think that uh, Justin Thomas brings a great skill set uh, to what we want to do offensively. Uh, he's a guy with uh, great quickness. He was the 100 meter dash champ in the state of Alabama at Travel High School when he played quarterback there his senior year in the state championship. And he probably has the quickest release of any quarterback that we've had at Georgia Tech as far as throwing the ball. So, uh, you know, he's, he's not a big guy, but uh, I think he's very talented. Tim Byer was a young man who transferred in, uh, walked on, and he's earned a scholarship. We had a great spring practice that really reminds me a little bit of Josh Haslett when Josh played the first couple of years when I was at Georgia Tech. Uh, 220 pounds, uh, hard to tackle, extremely tough guy, but he might be a little better tackle. So, uh, we feel good about that position. I think both those guys embrace what we do. They're looking forward to it, and, uh, and it's been fun coaching them this morning. Coach, right here with the tackle. Coach, Dance Tour, Dance Tour Broadcast Media. You just talked about the offensive side. Defensively, who's really stepped up through the spring and, and has established some of that leadership that you're going to be looking forward to in the fall? Well, Quayshawn uh, Neely, who shared the last couple of days as a linebacker, has played a lot of football for us, made a lot of good plays. Uh, we have two safeties that are coming back. Both our starting safeties from a year ago actually missed the season. Isaiah Johnson and Jamal Golden. Uh, Isaiah you know, will be a fifth-year senior. Jamal will be in his fourth year. Both have played a lot. Jamal's also a great return guy. And uh, so that gives us some stability back on the back end in the secondary, along with D.J. White, who's a returning starter. Uh, Adam Gossage returns as a starter up front on the D-line. Uh, expecting great things from him. And um, the young freshman who came to school in uh, January, and Keyshawn Freeman, I think, could be a surprise guy. I think he's got a great motor. Um, he could very easily end up being the pass rusher to replace Jeremiah Kachi, who we lost from a year ago. So, uh, going to have some young guys, but I think they're talented, and we're excited to see what they can do. Another question up front here. Is uh, reloading that defensive line maybe the biggest issue you, you have on defense? Well, I think that's probably where we had the biggest loss. Uh, you, you know, there's six guys off last year's defense that are currently in the NFL camps, and uh, three or four guys up front are in the camps. So uh, they have played a great deal. Uh, we feel like we have some young guys that can replace them, but uh, until they do it on the field and in the games, you never really know. So, uh, I think that uh, that would be fair to say that's a question mark going into the fall. Uh, probably our defense as a whole is a question mark. We'll stay on this side, Coach. Uh, Coach, Jim Connors from Time Warner Cable News, along the lines of your defense, can you talk about the impact Ted Roof has had and just uh, how, how you and he are syncing up having had a little time under your belt? Right. Well, I think Ted came in last year and, and, and did a really good job uh, bringing in a system that was a little simpler than what our guys have been accustomed to. They were able to play a little faster, a little harder. Uh, you know, we weren't, at, at times last year defensively, when we were good, we were real good. And when we were bad, we were real bad. And uh, so what you want to do is find that consistency. I think we've been some teams with really good skill players. We struggled last year. Uh, we gave up some big leads in a couple of games. Miami and Georgia come to mind, and we've got to be a little more consistent over there, but uh, excited about what Ted brings. He brings a lot of fire and intensity, and he's a former uh, you know, all-conference linebacker at Georgia Tech. Uh, he, he has a good idea of what our guys go through every day. Coach left side, first year. Coach Don Munson of Clemson. It would be my guess that everybody at some point in time during August can does something, steals a couple of days to prepare for what you all do offensively. I'm just interested, is there anybody that you maybe steal from in August camp to try to get prepared for? Uh, not really. Uh, you know, I think that uh, in college football today, uh, you know, we're a little unique that we're still under the center with the option game and that kind of thing, but 
there's probably a team in college football or very few you could probably count on one hand the teams that don't don't incorporate some type of option, whether it be a zone scheme or, or some type of deal. So there's a lot of carryover when you play other teams. I think the, the big thing defense has gone in the last few years, or well, really it's been longer than that, but into a personnel game, uh, you're trying to match up with uh, different sets with 10 personnel, 11 personnel. So, uh, you know, we've changed our defense a little bit this year. We're going to base that. Our, our nickel is actually going to be our base defense. We found that we played about 75% of the snaps a year going nickel. And, uh, you know, playing against ourselves a little bit in fall camp, I think this is a pretty good base for a lot of the one back and some of the zone reads and some of that stuff. And uh, there's nobody in particular that we separate out and try to get ready for or anybody else. Coach on this side, second row. Coach Alex Dodd, Dodd Sports Network, Greenville, South Carolina. You lose three uh, key guys on the offensive line this year, and, and the two of the guys that you have coming back each had only eight starts in their career. Uh, what do you need to do to build on the offensive line? Who's filling those holes? Well, we've got, uh, I think we return our best offensive lineman, and Shaq Mason has been our best player up there for a couple of years. Uh, certainly we start there. I believe Trey Long started eight or nine games with the other offensive guard last year. Uh, Brian Chamberlain started several games a year ago. Uh, a young man named Freddie Burton would have had a real chance to be the center a year ago and got hurt and missed the season. So he's back healthy. If he can stay healthy, we're excited about him. Uh, going into fall camp right now, Chris Griffin will be a redshirt freshman, will be the other tackle. He's a highly recruited guy. He's had uh, a, a full year in the system now. So we feel like that while we're younger up there, we, we're probably as athletic as we've ever been, and, and maybe more so than we have been in the past. So um, while it's an area of concern, uh, like always, uh, I feel like we'll be okay up there. Left side. Coach Bob Holly from Rye, I wanted to follow up on that more broadly in the Atlantic Coast Conference. The ACC has very few returning quarterbacks, but has maybe more offense, more returning offensive linemen per school that I can remember. Every school has at least three starters coming back. Of the 70 tackle tackle positions, it's something like 48 returning. What kind of an indicator of that is as uh, an offense? What does that mean for offense in the Atlantic Coast Conference this year? have that many uh, better offensive line? Well, I think depending on what you do as an offensive scheme, certainly it's a comfort level for the coach and, and what he can do. Uh, clearly, you would hope that they have a, a great understanding of the protections, uh, your different blocking schemes. And, uh, you know, for a team that's breaking in a new quarterback, it's always a, a real comfort to look up there and see some grizzled veterans up there in front of you that have kind of been there and done that. And they, they can be a common influence on, on the guys behind them. Left side of the coach. Coach, you mentioned personnel. Talk to me a little bit about Big Beasley, the uh, defensive end returning at Clemson, and how you go about game planning for him. Well, clearly Vic's a, a, you know, a tremendous athlete and, and got great quickness coming off the edge. I think that uh, you know what we try to do with him is hopefully within our offensive system, uh, we try to make him a read guy, but we don't block him. And uh, hopefully if he's too active, he can run himself out of some things. But you've got to be aware of him when you get in passing situations and definitely passing downs because uh, he's so explosive coming off the edge and, and, and such a good player that it's hard to ask one guy to block him. You need to, need to have some guys that can chip on him and some other guys that can help out. Uh, the problem is they have a, a, a lot of good players, so it's far from Peter to pay Hall sometimes, but clearly he's a guy that uh, everybody knows where he's lined up, including the quarterback, I imagine. Coach, statist uh, statistically speaking, 3,100 yards given up in the air last year. You obviously have the two corners coming back to provide stability. Um, as you look at the vertical column of numbers, where would you like to improve your stats? You're pretty strong in a lot of different areas. Well, you know, everybody could probably say the same thing, but we were really probably two or three plays away from winning 10 or 11 games a year ago. And uh, the, uh, what we have to do is be more consistent. I think we got to be better in the uh, takeaway, giveaway, uh, you know, turnover margin area. We need to get more than we got, uh, cut back on, on the turnovers. And the key for us is just going to be to be better 
uh, defensively consistently. I think, uh, you know, if you look at the losses last year, uh, Virginia Tech, we really struggled offensively in that game. But other than that, uh, the, the, the games that we lost, we really struggled defensively to try to get stops at key times.